Hi, let's talk about Forest Olive. So Forest Olive is one of the colors in the Forest series uh, of the Shemin Corridum Aquarelle Super Granulating uh, Forest series colors. Um, there are five colors in the series. I reviewed the, re the Forest Green previously, and this is Forest Olive. So Forest Olive uh, is made up of PBR7, PY43, PG18. So in the previous video uh, about the tundra and the forest colors, forest um, super granulating colors, we already established that um, the PBR7 PY43 mixture uh, was in fact one of the mixture that they have, which is um, raw amber. PG18 is viridian, so it is a granulating uh, bluish green. And I think the mixture of these two uh, probably has more of the raw umber than the viridian, so it's more brownish than it is green. Okay, you can see from the pigment um, information that it's probably going to be an olive, so it's made of green, yellow, and brown pigment. So true, true to the uh, pigment, um, you know, makeup, it is an olive color, and it do it does have some uh, green, brownish highlights, especially some green, very light green highlights. Um, if you look at the uh, swatch, you could see that it's actually semi-transparent uh, as you can see the uh, line, hand lettering that's underneath. Uh, we look at a water in paint, paint in watercolor, uh, water, uh, water test. Um, it does have the beautiful granulation which is very typical of the super granulating colors. The separation is, is there. So this color is, uh, has five stars, so it has excellent light fastness. Uh, staining wise, they say um, on the on the tube it says that it's semi semi staining. Um, I think it's lightly lightly staining, um, very lightly. Um, it glazes pretty okay, like it gets darker, and then of course it's granulating. And uh, I don't see a very stark uh, separation in terms of the pigment. What what are the similar colors that you can find um, in the uh, Shermink Sher and the uh, Daniel Smith colors? Because I do have the dot cards of all the, almost all the colors. So um, I, I think it's pretty close to the uh, Daniel Smith olive green. Although the olive green is um, more yellow. And this color being in the Forest series, right? Um, the Forest series do have very similar colors. So here is what we've seen last week, which is the forest green. So forest green is definitely more green. We do have forest brown. So it's, I would say, closest to forest brown, okay, which we will talk about in a future video. Um, and in the tundra series, we do, have, um, we do have the tundra green, which is also, I would say, different. Okay? So it's probably closest to the forest brown um, in, in, this, uh, in the super granulating series. So okay, when we look at the mixture, um, I try to mix it with about 12 colors and uh, what I notice is that uh, with the, um, the reds, the orange and the pinks um, and the brown, like a, the burnt sienna color, you, you, get, you, you, you get a darker mixture um, and with the, with the purple, um, you could see the, 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 the grayish tone so it is most, uh, the complementary color is most probably something along that, that, that range, okay? And with the yellow, it gets, of course, progressively more yellow. So you get a more yellowish uh, green. So it's possible to mix, but I would say you do get a lot of dark browns and browns. And, and when you go to the blue spectrum, you just get it, it just gets more green, like a more greenish uh, olive color. So yeah, this is what you expect from uh, mixing this color. So how should you use the forest olive? So of course, we can draw an olive, um, which is what I did. Um, but I, I think because of that brown color, um, it is the, the yellowish, warm brown, uh, olive brown color, olive green, close to a brown color, it would actually look quite nice in, in like say, um, um, at the beach, uh, in, in like a sand dune, uh, uh, some kind of like yellowish rock surface. Um, yeah, and, and it should still look okay. And if you want, for those kind of like a look, you may want to include more yellow to it um, because then it, it will probably mix it, make it uh, 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 the color may resemble more a uh, sandy color than it is uh, what it is right now. So let's see how we use it in an actual drawing. This shop is um, this is one of the shop front drawings that I did, and it is of a, a, an Italian restaurant called Casa Manini. This is very close to where I live, um, and I try to use this color uh, mixture uh, with these 
So you, you can see from here that I was trying to actually do up. The mixture probably will make, make up something like a, a shadow part. So I did mix it with the blue. So that makes like the, um, the shadow that's on the, I would say canopy. And in the interior, because the shop is mainly green, um, the, with that, with the phthalo green, um, I did get a little bit more like a greenish tone to it. So it's more a greenish olive green right over here. And also the shadow. And with the brown, uh, you do see all these uh, shadow as well, like in between the bins and, and stuff like that. So of course I use gouache in, in, this, um, in this painting. So this is how I use it. And um, on, as you can see from the, on the shop, shop uh, sign, I didn't touch, I didn't do anything to it. So this is, this is the color. Um, this is the actual color. Um, this color is uh, not a must-have. It's a nice olive green. So if you do need, uh, uh, if, if you like to use olive green, this is a very convenient mixture that you can buy and you can just use it on its own. So yeah, okay, so that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's video on a forest olive from the Shemink Super Granulating uh, Color Range. All right, so I hope to see you in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. All right, thank you so much. Bye.